Welcome back, everyone. I am Zadie, and this is RimWorld Alpha 12, episode number four. Yes, number four. Um, last time on the RimWorld, we uh, we built two rooms. One is our comms room with a little bit of recreation. The other one is going to be our medical facility where we're going to have our beds. Today's episode, we are going to focus on defense. After I get after I get this done, and after I move this table because it's bothering the shit out of me, we're 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 beefing up our defense, for sure. So uh, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. And uh, something I didn't mention last episode uh, was I did just purchase something that's very exciting for me. It is a um, capture card that is going to allow me to. Uh, to record stuff more on the PS4, which is something that I I've wanted been wanting to do for quite some time. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the uh, the PS4 software or anything like that. It's actually um, pretty decent, to be honest with you, uh, for editing and recording. However, it is a pain in the butt, and you can't um, can't get it on your computer, which is. Uh, you know, not good for me because I like editing on my computer. Um, my computer may record stuff on it like crap, but for purposes of rendering and editing footage, it actually does a pretty damn good job. So, uh, that being said, I'm really, really excited waiting on that to get in here. And even though there's no real games out right now that I want to record um, and put online from the, the PlayStation, I do want to record and put on there uh I hope that's the table and not the floor okay um when battle Star Wars Battlefront comes out and uh Rainbow Six uh comes out I'm going to be playing the shit out of those games so I, I will be putting um I will be putting uh those up on the YouTubes for sure so that is not what I wanted. Go ahead and save. Go ahead and thank you. And you are what I wanted. There we go. And you know what? Let's um let's go ahead and deconstruct this. And I want to do 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 floor floor floor. Not floor, not floor. Structure furniture, there we go. Go ahead and put some dining chairs in there. Give them something nice to sit in. Oh, you're still there. <clears throat> there we go. And let's go ahead and... I don't have medical beds yet. So for right now, I'm just going to put... Uh, one, two, three, four medical beds in there. For all four of my colonists. And that's a pretty big room for that. But with the um, once I get the uh, medical beds researched, I will uh, change that around a little bit. Alright, everyone's gone to sleep. Can't help but notice my crops aren't, uh, aren't being harvested. Ready to harvest. Who's our grower? Our gro oh, we don't have a grower. That really kind of explains stuff. Okay. So, I'd really like to harvest those craps. Craps. Those crappy crops. Get to moving, Hans. Get to moving. Alright. Let's go ahead and put this last wooden stool down. There we go. Oh, you're playing a little chess up here, huh? How's, your, how, how's that going along for you? Yeah, it, it increased your joy a lot. Good, 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 good. I like making my colonist happy whenever I can. I've got 19 food. Things are going good. These things are not refrigerated. Why aren't you... Ref oh, I never changed the temperature on this thing. Holy shit. That would have sucked. Okay, so, um... Let's get you minus... I want these to be frozen. So we'll do 32 degrees. 
That will chill this room out. That's going to chill this room out. That'll prevent these from going spoilage. Let's see. Okay. You feel awake to see what's indoors 70. Yeah. Need you to need you to the wood. Oh, it's because it's wood, isn't it? Shit. Alright, so this is not planned. But what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to tear down this whole entire thing. And put uh Gotta put some steel walls up or else it'll never freaking cool off in there. Damn it. Forgot about that. There you go, Hans. Go ahead and tear that shit down. Let's go ahead and put a steel auto door on there. Unfortunate. Calypso, why don't you sleep in your bed? Still June? Okay, good. Exotic goods trade, that's awesome. Don't have anything I can sell you yet, still. Yeah, that shit is seven mils that's getting ready to uh, expire because of my oversight. done anything with Calypso. This is episode, what, four? Yeah. I really need to uh, do something with him. Let's get our wiring going. Because everything's turned off. Boy, I really would have liked to have finished that before that was spoiled. steel auto door right here and steel auto door right there that way they can go through the refrigerator get their food put their food in the refrigerator blah blah blah, blah. and let's go ahead while we're at it since we're spending resources that we don't have I mean we do have let's go ahead and I love the music in this thing um, remove floor I'm gonna put a uh, sterile tiles to help keep the room clean. Very useful in the hospital, prevents patients from getting various infections. Neutral in terms of looks and very slow to build. Uh, we're gonna put a uh, but labor and metal intensive. We're just gonna put metal floors in there. It is a cooler after all. So it makes sense that it has metal floors. Who is our animal guru? Where, 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 where? Flick, is it 
flick. No. Handler. No, you're doing that, but I would really like to uh, start training. Whoa, God, I'm lost. Start training Calypso. Get some obedience going there. Combat supplier! Oh, if I only had stuff to sell you. Um, tame. Can we tame these? It would be pretty badass. Alright, now, with our refrigerator, it is... Still only 70 degrees in there. Let's... Why is it not... Oh, because it's been for Maybe it may... Well, well. May not be, but, you know. Of course, I don't have enough metal for that. But, uh, these mills, man, they're gonna go... Go tits up in 3.9 days. And I really want to, uh... Because I, I want it to freaking cool off in there. wasn't It wasn't this hard to refrigerate stuff in previous versions of this game. Shit, 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 shit. Get to working on my metal floor, bitches. Let's go ahead and hide these so I don't have to see them there. so often. I can actually see what the floor looks like and everything. Is that helping the temperature? It is helping the temperature. Okay. So the metal the metal walls and the metal the metal floor is going to help everything. Good, 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 good. Damn they ain't joking, man. That shit's taking them forever to in install. Got our other beds up here. Let's go ahead and change those to medical beds. They've probably been ready for a while now. I'm just not paying attention. Um, Calypso, have you been trained at all? Training? Training? No? No? Okay. Um, Terrell, what you doing? Still down here mining away, aren't you? Okay. Cannot train Calypso. No usable food. Okay. Um, what do you eat? Mel Husky, age seven. Best quality American no more. Well, what the fuck do you eat? Check out your info. Let's see. Omnivore. Okay. You know what's funny? So just realize something. They still haven't harvested these crops. At all. Why aren't they harvesting them? Look. Grower. Oh, god damn it. I did it again. Okay. I need you to seriously go fucking deal with those crops, please. Thank you. Doug. 
Are you ever going to figure figure out how hydroponics work, buddy? You've been going on this for a while now. Uh, do, 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 do. Cause he's been mining. Cause I'm retarded. I really need to clean this up. Okay, clean up time. Let's see. Got you handling. Plant cutting. Hauling. And cleaning. Because God knows this place needs cleaned up. I don't want you doing anything else. Put all these on force. Force. Okay. That takes care of him. Kyle obviously is our warden, cook, and hunter. Uh, construction comes second, so it's repair. And then grow is a four, mine is a three, plant cut is a four. And then no crafting, because crafting's not needed. And then haul is a two. Clean as a two. Alright. So now we've got Hans, who is our grower. Handling can be... Um, well, you're a pretty good handler, so... Handling can be two. No cooking, no hunting. Construction two, repair, grow, mine, plant cut, four. Haul, three clean three okay that should clean up this thing a little bit hopefully they'll uh they'll be able to do a little bit more ah he did just try to chain clips so that's awesome yeah because i have crops now jesus christ doug seriously get your ass moving buddy you are this is taking way too goddamn long um Oh, I do remember something from watching the uh, the developer talk about this. In order to tame stuff, you need hay. So let's make a 4x9 block, and that is going to grow hay. Hey. I forgot about that. Glad I just remembered. So how we doing on our refrigerator? It is 44 degrees inside of here. It is absolutely fucking filthy. And the food is going to spoil in like three days or so. So we need to power this thing up just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get you going down into the 20s. How about that? 22 degrees. That may be able to pump out enough power to bring it down into the freezing range. No, doesn't look like it. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, temperature. We're going to put another cooler in here so that this one won't, won't strain so much. That way it should be able to keep it down because it's like, is it cooling this down? Yeah, it's keeping it in the 50s, which is, you know, okay. But uh, shit, this needs, you know, this stuff needs to be frozen storage foods raw yeah thank good god Doug thank you thank you thank you thank you all right Doug you're gonna be our number one holler buddy Uh, bulk goods trader, bulk goods trader. Muffalo? <gasps> Muffalo? I got one! Oh, nice. Named Muffalo One. Cool. Um... Do 
do do do do do. I thought there may be a way to rename them. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Well, anyways, from now on, Muffalo One is going to be known as Doug. Good job, Doug. You just chill out around there, Doug. Uh, let's see. So there are restrictions you can put on Muffalo. On. And animal area. Uh, do do do. Hold on, hold on. Her down. Animals. Manage areas. You're going to stick to the home area. Animal area one. No, Calypso, you you have no. You're unrestricted. Muffalo 1, I want you to stick to Animal Area 1, which will be... Is there a way to do that? Animal Area 1. Good. Okay. Animal Area 1 is going to take place up here. Get up there, Doug. Stay up there, you filthy, filthy muffalo. Alright, so we got two coolers in here now. Um, this should be enough to bring us down to freezing temperature. We're going to bring it down to 22 degrees. You are set at 22 degrees. And temperature is escape pod. Oh, shit. New person! New people! I like new people! Uh, oh, we have a person named Doug, too. So I can't name you Doug. You're no longer Doug. You're now Mr. Fluffybutt. Mr. Fluffybutt number one. Hans, go pick, go pick up our new person. Rescue. Good trader. I don't have anything to trade you yet. I just got my first muffalo, goddammit. Speaking of people, did anyone ever pick up that guy that we killed? Looks like it, okay. Yeah, because there's his body over there. Alright, so how are we doing on things? Let's do a little evaluation real quick. First of all, our room is at 22 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great. Our other room is at 34, which is below freezing, or well, right at freezing. Um, spill days on these are pretty, pretty high, so they should be able to turn into food. Um, however, it's still not good enough, so... You know what? Why don't I put... Why don't... Yeah. No, I've, I just had an idea. Okay. Good idea. So I'm going to put one in there, and as soon as that one gets built, I'm going to remove that second one, and um, the two to get see if the two together with the vents can't keep these uh, two rooms cool. Bring your temperature down. I'm gonna bump them up to 26 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how we do it in here. 34, yeah, still right around. Um, Buffalo, Buffalo two. Uh. We're gonna call you Fancy Feast. Cause I'm eventually gonna eat you. Um, animals. Buffalo 2. Restrict to Animal Area 1. Excellent. Get out of the room, Buffalo 2. Come on. Alright. 
right, Calypso has now got a master. That's good. It's very, very good. If we get that other Muffalo trained, this will be uh, very, very productive and successful uh, um, mission. Um, seriously, someone really needs to... Who's my cleaning bitch? Alright, we're gonna put you there too, so I want you... I seriously just want you cleaning. Because that is a bloody fucking mess. And... Things are going... Quite well. This is good. Still ain't got no defense though. That sucks. But we do have stone cutting. Um, I'm gonna set that up next um, next episode. Uh, we've got two muffalo, which is amazing. Calypso is um, Calypso's being trained. Uh, he is good on obedience. We need. Um, I'm going to now train him on. Release to attack distant targets instead of just defending its master. No, I think I would rather train them on train Calypso on rescue. I think that's going to be far more important that he can run out there and grab our people and bring them back in, you know, safely. Um, also, next episode, I am going to oh, first things first on the next episode, We've got a raid of two people at least. They are right above there, and they better not fuck with my muffalo. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, appreciate a like, a favorite, a subscription, a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel like giving. Also, feel free to leave comments in the um, comments section. I do read them. I do appreciate them. And um, your support and stuff always makes doing these way more fun. Um, like I said in my last episode, 200 and some odd views on the first episode, which is great. I would really like to get there with the second episode and the third episode. Um, but, like I said, I'll take I'll take 50 views. That means there's 50 people that are out there watching me. And even though that is a small number, it uh, makes me feel accomplished. I'm not going to lie. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time for more Rimworld.